Hey everybody, Chris here, and in this video, I'm gonna go over the data screens and data fields on the Garmin Instinct GPS watch. But before we dive into the menu, I wanted to cover a couple big items that I noticed when coming from the Garmin Forerunner 935 to the Instinct. They both have to do with the display size. There's a significant decrease coming from the 935 to the Instinct. The 935 has a diameter of 30 millimeters, which is around 1.2 inches. The Garmin Instinct, on the other hand, has just 23 millimeters in either direction, which is about a little under one inch. In addition to that, there's this data field that's the circle in the upper right corner on the Instinct, and that is baked into the way the display is made. It's not something where you can choose to turn that circle off and use that display space in another way. You have to choose a data field that you like inside that circle. You're a little more free to choose what you want on the rest of the display, and that's what we'll go into now in the menu system. So let's get to it. The way that I like to navigate to the data fields section is to act like I'm starting an activity. So just press the GPS button in the upper right, select run, and now you can see that by pressing up, which is the menu button, you will enter the option settings. Then we can choose run settings and data screens. Now, at first it just shows you the screens that you already have in place. So if you just got the watch, you'll see the default screens. I've already edited mine, so these are the ones that I currently have. Screen one has heart rate, lap pace, distance, and timer. If I scroll down, page two, I continue to have heart rate in that little circle, time of day, and total ascent. Next is um, a screen that just shows my heart rate zones. And then at the bottom, I could choose to add additional screens. So let's go back up to the first screen and kind of do an overview of what these data screens can look like. So when you click the GPS button here, that allows you to edit this particular screen that you are on. So you can change the layout or what appears in each of the individual fields. So let's go over the layouts first. My current layout is the four field layout and it counts that upper right circle as one. And it gives you a little diagram to show you where those four are. So if we go into um, the edit mode on this, we can scroll through the various layouts that are available. So up at the top, this first option is a two field layout with the circle and then a giant screen that shows you just a big reading of whatever field, uh, whatever data you want. Next is three fields then four fields like I've selected. A different way of doing four fields, although I don't like this because every field is almost similar size. So if you're running and you glance down, you really don't get a quick feel for anything. So normally when I look down, I'm curious to see either what my pace is based on how I'm feeling or maybe how long I've gone um, total. And I like to have those things kind of stand apart from one another. And I found that using this four field layout, it just didn't uh, help. I had to sit there and stare at my watch longer than I wanted to. And I never even thought about using this one because it's yet another field, five fields. And that's just uh, a little too messy for me when I'm on the go. So uh, my chosen one for now was this four field layout. Although I'm intrigued by this uh, three field layout as well, because I often don't really um, need all that data at once. So we'll press back because um, I like this four field layout for now. And as you go down, you can see what is currently selected in each field. And it gives you a little indicator about what field you're editing. So as you scroll through, you can see, oh, I want to change this middle one. And so it highlights that for you. And then you press the GPS button to go in and you can adjust what data appears there if you wanna change it. And you can put about anything you can imagine in these fields. So let's roll through those one more time. Timer fields, distance fields, pace fields, speed fields, heart rate fields, cadence fields, temperature, elevation, compass, navigation, and other. So you've got, on the other category, you've got calories, battery level, GPS, laps, sunrise, sunset, time of day, which I have added to my second screen personally, ambient pressure, barometric pressure. So you can just go crazy here with what you decide to put in your fields. Uh, you can reorder them or remove them. 
So that's an overview of the data screens on the Garmin Instinct. If you have any questions, please let me know in a comment below and I'd be happy to help.